let's finalize our react components in this video in the previous video we finalized the wireframes we had a look at what all rough wireframes did we build all right so let's come to the react components now so this is again one benefit of building a rough wireframe before building the final designs although we could also finalize the react components after seeing the final designs but this is just how i do things you can definitely do it in a different way so let's have a look into it so for the first page of course there's going to be a home page so there's a nav bar so this nav bar is common to every page as you can see as you are going to see as well and this there's going to be this home page so as you can see this home page is quite simple there's no there's nothing much in the home page there's just a h1 there's just a h3 there are two buttons and then in the final design there's a image as well here so i don't think we need any separate component as such inside our home page so we can do everything in our home page itself now for the second page which is about me in the about me now here comes the real reusability as you are going to see here again you must have heard this again and again do not repeat yourself which is dry the concept of dry if you haven't already you can check it out on google the concept of dry you should always keep your code dry which is dry dry do not repeat yourself so here we are going to see some real reusability as you can see in most of our wireframes we have some common sections for example in every wireframe we have a header and a footer link for example check out my projects check uh, in this header section we have a about me and a small uh, sort of subheading in each page so now we can make this as a reusable component we have a nav bar which is again a reusable component we have a header which is again a reusable component and then we have a footer link which is again a reusable component and then we have some extra information as well but uh, if you want you can put it in a separate component of course that would be great that would make our about uh, component really look good because then it would not have some uh, react jsx components and then html it will only have jsx components but again it's completely your choice and i'm not making it too complex by uh, making it a uh, separate component so i'll just have a nav bar a header and this html and then the footer link Similarly, for projects, we are going to have a nav bar, a header, n number of project cards. So this is something really cool. We are going to build a reusable project card, which can be re reused in any of your project, or it can be used in any of your different website, or any other React application, or in any other page as well of this particular application itself. So we are going to build a separate project card and going to reuse this um, in our projects page and then there's going to be a footer link awesome so next coming back to the skills section this is again similar to the project section because here we had a project card and in the skills we are going to have a skill card so there's going to be a nav bar a header n number of skills and then a footer link and then finally for the contact page same nav bar header and footer link so this form i'm not making it into a separate component if you want you can easily do that so this is how our complete react component architecture is going to look like so you must have thought that hey we are using navbar and the navbar is going to remain the same in every component then do we actually need to call navbar inside a component no we don't so so navbar is going to be a direct child of app instead of it being into home about projects skills contact and so on we could have done the similar thing with header and footer link as well but i thought that it's just four or five pages then we can definitely since the content is changing even though the content is also changing in the navbar as well we are changing the content we are changing the bold the active link of navbar in corresponding to every page but in the header we are changing the text completely we are changing it to skills we are changing it to contact me so i thought let's keep it a child element of our separate page but if you want you can definitely definitely build it as a top level component and then maybe based on the route you can display some information that's completely completely up to you so this is how our application is going to look like we are going to have a parent component which is going to be an app 
and then the child of the app is going to be a nav bar and then there's going to be various routes and then there's also going to be a go home button if you remember it correctly we used to have a go home button somewhere at the a floating action button somewhere at the right hand side bottom of the page so yes app will have a nav bar there is going to be various routes and corresponding to each route for home we are going to display home for about we are going to as you must have remembered home does not have a child component because it's a very very simple component about is going to have header and footer link projects is going to have header n number of project cards footer link skills is going to have header skill card and footer link contact again header and footer link this is how our component architecture diagram is going to look like so these are the steps that i take before actually jumping onto the code so you must see that um, a lot of time is also spent in the pre-coding phase. Pre-coding phase is really, really important. You have to plan out your code first before jumping onto the code. If you are just jumping onto the code, it's not going to be good. Trust me, you're going to get stuck somewhere or the other. So yes, do plan out your projects properly. Awesome. So these were the various steps where we saw sketching, we saw wireframes, we saw final designs. Although I did not tell you how to make those sketches, I did not tell you how to make those wireframes and I did not tell, tell you um, how did we use, how did we create our final designs and so on. Because this is a React tutorial and I want to keep it limited to React, I just added this these two videos just to show you what all things go behind the scenes, um, what all things go in the design phase and so on. So yes, but don't worry, I am planning to start a design course as well, but it's going to take a little bit of time because um, I already have a few courses scheduled for next couple of months. So yes, probably after that we can see some things on design as well. Awesome. So this was on uh, the design phase and let's before ending this video, let's have a look at the final designs as well. So these are the final designs. This is how our application is going to look like. Our home page is going to look like this. This is going to be a nav bar. Again, these are the old designs as I told you. This are, these are not the new designs. As you can see, this image here is different. Uh, this nav bar here is different. These are the old designs that are made. While building the project, I thought that, oh, this is not scrollable. So let's not make the nav bar include uh, a major part of our screen let's make it hidden behind the hamburger menu so yes that's something what i thought and in the meantime i will also show you how to create those hamburger menus and, and all those things so that is what i thought so this is not the final design but yes you can get a rough idea of how our application is going to look like through these designs so this is going to be the my skills and this is going to be the get in touch um, page so let's end it here and from the next section let's jump on to the coding part and let's start understanding our react router